Wednesday, middle of the week. Um, of the week, not the weekend, just the middle of the week. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. I uh, just got in from walking the pups. It's my morning ritual, get up, wake them up because they like to sleep in. But get them out, get a nice little walk in. They had their breakfast and uh, they're uh, in the den now watching an old uh, Perry Mason show. <laughs> you know, they, the morning is good. You know, just start off with uh, um, some leave it to, a couple of leave it to beavers and then Perry Mason and off and running. Um, it, it, first off, it was great last night. I, uh, I finished up all the stuff I had to do here and then just pulled out the, um, Phil Collins show that we did on the last tour and just sat here and played it. Um, it was so good just to be playing because I've been so distracted and, you know, the first and foremost, the thing I love the most is playing. And uh, so it was really nice just to kind of hunker down and and, uh, and just get the bass in my hands. Um, and it felt great. I mean, it didn't feel like I've, I've backslid too much on things. So it was, it was great to play. Um, another thing that was really great was the response yesterday to Bill Medley. I mean, the guy is just so damn good. It's just ridiculous. It, that voice, it, there's none like it. And I remember when we were in the studio, it was really funny. Um, uh, You've Lost That Love and Feelin' was written by Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil, I believe. And when we were in the studio, he was telling a story about when they recorded that song. And apparently the original version of it that they, that they wrote was kind of like a up-tempo bubblegum tune, like, you never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. You know, kind of a thing like that. And when they were in the studio cutting it, they just kept redoing things until it eventually ended up, you never close your eyes. You know, it got down into that slow and low. And apparently they cut it out here, but Barry and Cynthia were in New York, so they called them on the phone and wanted to play them the track. And apparently while they were playing it, Barry was yelling into the phone, it's on the wrong speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just so funny how these things work out. But, you know, and here it becomes one of the most iconic performed played songs ever. And, uh, you know, it's just weird how those things happen where the original intention is 180 degrees different than what ends up being the, uh, the track. But uh, Bill had so many stories to tell in the studio. It was, it was just one of those things. It was kind of like, uh, it was the same situation, same studio with Steve Tyrell uh, when we did the two Andy Griffith records. And there's just those times where you end up in a studio and you're sitting next to somebody who's really meant the world to you throughout your life and you had never met them before. And it was that way with, uh, with Andy. You know, I walk in the studio and there's Andy Griffith in there. And he ended up winning um, a Grammy for the, um, uh, I think it was Contemporary Gospel album that, that year that we recorded the first album. And uh, I just spent the whole time, we became very good friends. I mean, we'd call each other and, you know, just check in, see how we were doing. And, and it's just those things. And it's the same with Bill. And uh, the funniest thing that came out of the uh, Andy things story-wise was he was sitting there looking looking at me and the, the guys and he had this beautiful thick white hair and he, and he goes who would have thought I'd have like all this white hair and Opie would be bald now we all went down on that we fell down laughing so I mean what a what a what a comment um, but Andy was a really such a delightful cat but Getting back to Mr. Medley, Brother brother Bill, um, I thought, today, hell with it. I'm going to do a couple more songs from the album that we did, um, you know, Your Heart to Mine, and it's, it's and the album is dedicated to the blues. And it's just such a joy to, uh, to hear this guy sing, and the band was so good. I'm still looking for credits. I can't find any. Um, and one of my biggest issues is I hardly have any records I've ever played on because nobody ever sends them to you. 
And I forget about them by the time they come out and I'm off doing other things. And then I suddenly go, oh, God, yeah, that album. So um, let's listen to a, a few more Bill Medley. And, uh, and uh, this is his version of Hold On, I'm Coming, the old Sam and Dave tune. So here we go. Let's check this out. I love this guy. It's so good. Oh, and a lot of people, I mean, they've been real concerned. They said, you know, I, I seem to be really kind of stressed out and sort of, you know, going a, a bit crazy at this point. Uh, you're very observant. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I, like everybody else right now, this is a most incredibly stressful time in our lives. Um, there's so much, you know, that every day, you know, as soon as you open up any piece of media, you're confronted with things that are really pretty dark and, uh, and not encouraging. Um, so uh, so it, it can get you down. And so between that and, you know, and, and the book, you know, I, mean, I don't want to harp on the book, you know, uh, they'll be coming in on Friday and uh, I've got a, a, a few people coming over to help me offload pallets and uh, start getting that going and then start my assembly line work of, of mailing, signing, doing all that stuff. I'll be taking a pile of books over uh, either on the weekend or Monday morning to um, LA Vintage Gear, drop them off with Cliff Jones over there and I'll, they'll all be signed. So if anybody's local and they want to get one of the books or a couple of them, uh, that's, that would be the, the local place to go grab them. And uh, I've got some friends that have come over and seen mine that were going to buy a book. And the next thing I know, they said, hold three or four for me. These are going to be great presents. So I'm excited about it. But it's, it's daunting. It's a lot of work. And it's an area of my that I've never experienced before in my life of, of doing retail. <laughs> and um, I also ran out of, uh, I filled another big order last night of T-shirts, the beard T-shirts. And... I've run out of XLs, double XLs, and triple XLs. Um, so they're all on an expedite order. So as soon as they come in, I'll fill all those. Anybody that wants mediums and larges, I could do it right now because uh, I have plenty of those, but the larger sizes I don't have. So um, I'll be getting them out as soon as they arrive. Enough of my QVC moment here. Let's, let's listen to Bill Medley. Hold on, I am, I'm coming. Can't beat that groove. I'm on my way. Your lover. When you're her baby, I'll be your couple. When the day comes, that you're down. You're a river of trouble, baby. I wish I could sing like that. Oh, quick, quick, 
Yeah. Blue. This is called Drown in My Own United Tears. Healthcare, and of course, there's a commercial you can take advantage of free Hold on just a minute. Let's get this crap hair. out of the way. Skip ad. It rains a tear into Jim Cox is one of the greatest keyboard players.
Hold on here. This is Nest Audio from Google. Oh, yeah, no, that's not the one. Oh, here we go. But this is what I thought I would play. James Dyson. Of course, there's another commercial. Just to, who are you going to call? Again. Groove Busters. Big Heavy Limited. Okay. This is sort of in the same vein as the previous song, um, but it's one of the great classics, and he just does this so beautifully. Um, you know, when you do those kind of songs, you just feel yourself like, you know, I love playing smoky, not smoky, because I, I don't smoke, but you know, just those clubs, you know, intimate clubs, dark, and see people out there slow dancing and just shuffling across the floor, and, uh, there's just a vibe, you know? I mean, I love playing stadiums and arenas and all that stuff, but there's nothing better than a small, intimate club. And uh, I, you know, we did quite a few um, really neat rooms like that with Judith Owen when we were getting started. And it was so great just to be in a room where you can, you can just feel the people breathing with you in there. And they're like right there, you know, you're connected, so. So this is, here's another one. This is one of the great classic songs, I've Been Loving You Too Long. So here we go, Bill Medley. I've been loving you
Wow. Wow. What a, what a voice. What an interpretation. Um, it's interesting. When I do things, songs like this, you know, a lot of times, you know, bass players are writing, they go, isn't it boring, you know, just playing those kind of really slow, whole, whole note, half note -y songs? And I go, never. Man, sitting in that pocket, that groove is so deep, you know. I, I see all these videos every day of everybody out there just tapping, slapping, and going crazy. And I go, man, I would sit in this all day long if I could, man. I just love this, that kind of a groove. Just sit there and just... That's a tough groove to play. You know, you've really got to just channel your inner pocket, and especially you and the drummer. Just let this thing sit. So, okay, I am off and running. I've got a couple of things to do. I was supposed to do a really great interview this afternoon, um, but uh, it has been postponed because the engineer in the studio has COVID. And so they're shutting down. And when they get the okay, um, I will be doing that. And I'm doing a thing tomorrow with a, I think it's a college course. I'm, I'm going to be a Zoom speaker on, on, a, on a school course. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm heading off right now to the storage facility to pay for this month. Hold on, let me shut the phone off. Um, really, really. Pay for the month, put my lock on my on my door. I found a, one of my great old locks from one of my road cases, which is so bulletproof. So I'm going to throw that on there, and then I'm going to come back and take care of some stuff, go by the post office, drop off another big bag of T-shirts that I've got ready to go. And, uh, and like that, every day is just full and full. But I think tonight I will play again, too. Maybe I'll... I, I've got something I was just sent. I, I, will, I will put it up tomorrow. Um, I have a, a very dear friend who I've been doing some tracks with named David Gab, G-A-B. It's a much longer last name, but he's shortened it to Gab. Uh, I believe he's Ukrainian, I think. Um, and he lives over here. He's got his green card now. He is just a fun rock and roller. And I think he was on like Ukraine's Got Talent and all this stuff. But we been, we went in the studio before all this happened and we did some tracks and we, as a trio. It was myself and, and David and the great Steve Ferroni on drums. And, he, and we just did a, a track together, a new song. And each of us, you know, contributed our parts to it. And then he just, it's been assembled into a, a video and he sent it to me today and it kicks butt it's a lot of fun so maybe tomorrow i'll show you that and uh it's a kick it's the antithesis uh, the opposite end of what i just played for you but it's another thing that i love playing music like 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 david has so um maybe tomorrow so take good care have a great day i wish everybody all the very best my heart's with everybody out there working every day that's still exposing themselves to this um you know, we all know what's going on. I mean, if you have to be living under a rock not to know how devastating this situation is right now. Um, so my heart's with everybody who's dealing with this firsthand. And uh, every time I walk into any place, be it a supermarket, post office, anything like that, and you see these people there all day long dealing with the public, and you go, man, I, my heart's with you. I wish you the best. So I'm going to do that and just gear up towards... Uh, towards Friday with a long day of stacking pallets of books and then get my books out to Cliff Jones at LA Vintage Gear and have all that ready and then just wait on the um, wait on the uh, t-shirts to arrive and also I've, I got orders for some of my artwork and we're going to go ahead and get that printed and, and shipped out. Uh, we're adding I think today possibly three three of my paintings as posters um, in there. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's really fun just pulling up, you know, parts of my life that I really have always kept to myself and sharing them. So I hope you dig them um, no matter what. And, um, and I wish you all the best and I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. So take good care. Bye-bye.